Have you ever found yourself struggling to get into a particular position, particularly during an athletic endeavor, or even just kind of going through your activity of daily living? I think all of us have been there where we felt some sort of tension or tightness in a certain part of the body. Hey everyone, I'm Eric, your fitness dietitian, and today we're gonna to talk about mobility. Now what exactly is mobility? Generally speaking, mobility is the ability to go through a full range of motion uh, using different parts of our body. But oftentimes, mobility and flexibility get used interchangeably. And there are similarities, uh, but flexibility is the ability to stretch, where mobility is kind of like being able to stretch, but going through a particular movement or motion. Now, if you are an athlete or an avid exerciser, which I would also consider you an athlete, mobility is gonna be important because it helps us get through certain movements. So for example, some individuals might have difficulty with a squat. Uh, maybe there's uh, mobility issues with their ankles, for example, or getting into a proper position for a deadlift. There could be some mobility issues there. The couch stretch is not necessarily huge for mobility, but it's a good stretch to help with flexibility and supporting our knees. I find that lots of folks tend to have a lot of tension built up in that quad area. You can put something under your knee to help with making it hurt a little bit less on your knees. Up next, we have an ankle stretch. So this really helps with mobility for squatting, particularly things like front squats. Uh, what you wanna do is you wanna set up a weight on top of your quad and push that knee over those toes, really trying to keep the heel down to help with that range of motion for getting down into what's called dorsiflexion, uh, which is particularly important for when we are squatting. This next stretch here is called a pigeon stretch. This really helps with the hips. You wanna get a stretch as best as you can by getting your chest down close to your leg. You could do this on an elevated surface or a lower surface, and you could also do pulses if you wanted to add another dynamic to it. For this stretch, this helps the shoulders and the lats as well. What we want to do is hold on to a PVC pipe or a broomstick and then have both arms on an even surface and try to get our head down in between our arms as best as possible and really feel that stretch from our shoulders down to our lats, just pushing our head through to maximize that stretch. And last but not least, here we have a combination. These are pass-throughs. Pastors just really focus on keeping those arms straight. You could bend them if you need to, if you don't have that mobility yet. And then for the next one, we have around the world. Some people might also call them figure eights. Really focusing on keeping those arms straight to help really open up chest and shoulders. Hopefully you found this helpful. And remember, go through that full range of motion as often as you can and get nice and flexible with your stretching as well. Catch you on the next one.